What's up guys, it's your boy Anthony Aaron Delray and you once again another TTC Tony Tech Cave tutorial. On today's video we're going to be flashing the Mikul KM9. This, uh, this is a powerful box by Mikul. Uh, they already have a new version of this, the Pro version. But we're not talking about the Pro, we're talking about this version. So on today's video we're going to be changing that. But before we continue on flashing this with Magandan's KM9 ROM. This ROM is by the way the Android TV version. And by the way guys, I don't know if you guys are aware but right now they're having a big sale on gear pass lots of the key me cool boxes are on sale i will also be including a few links in the description below with a couple of coupons that you guys can use in order to get yourself your fresh new box at a nice new price so you guys might want to be taking a look at that also while we're on that note on gear bass another thing that you guys might be might want to be looking out for is the september sale which this sale will be starting in four days as you can see right here right now they're also having a heat period that has already started and that heat period ends on the 2nd of september and the main period is going to be throughout the 3rd of september till the 9th but anyways guys now that that has been uh, out of the way let's continue with the flash shall we All right, guys, so let's start the flashing process. Uh, there's a few things that you're going to need. Well, a few things, and by a few, I mean three things that you're going to be needing. You're going to be needing the Google Apps. And by the way, all the links will be in the description below. You're going to be needing the latest ROM, which will be the burn package. And of course, you're going to need the USB flash tool. Without this, nothing is possible. So let's start off with the Google Apps. Um, let's not click on this one because for one or the other reason is not going too well So I have taken the liberty of getting us another link and in this case since we'll be using Android 8.1 All you need to do is you go to arm 8.1 as Android system and here you pick your variant in this case I am going to be using the mini because I, I don't like too much Google stuff on my phone or at least on my TV box so in this case, I'm just going to click on download. You guys are going to click on download too. You're going to put it wherever you think is easier for you to remember. I have already downloaded it. So you are going to hit save. I am going to hit cancel. When that is done, you want to come back to Magandan's page again. And this will also be in the description below just for you guys who are uh, keeping up. Let's see. The next thing you want to do is you want to download the burn package. So let's click on that. Let's see what it's going to take us. It should take you to the OneDrive. Obviously, I have already downloaded this myself. It's going to ask me to download it. As you can see, I already have it. You're going to click save. I'm going to click cancel. And now for the last part, we're going to download the USB burning tool 2.1.7. It is very pivotal that you download this version. Uh, I have been getting issues with other versions. So please make sure you do download this one. Click on it. Just like the previous steps, we go to another page. It's going to ask if you want to download this. You want to click on the little download arrow and you want to download it to once again somewhere else or somewhere where you guys think it's easy to remember. In my case, it's going back to the review folder. You guys are going to click save. I'm going to click cancel. So if you have downloaded everything, your folder should look a little bit like this folder right here. Of course, USB burning tool, I zip that out. And once you zip it out, you should get this setup and make sure you install this setup by the way as this contains all the drivers that you need that you just go to search burn tool see there it is for me see there you have it guys so there you have the usb burn tool 2.1.7.0 okay and now for the other part is getting the box ready obviously wait a minute guys before we get the box ready there's a few there's one thing that you need to keep in mind uh, do not forget to put the Google Apps in a USB stick. For me, I use a simple USB stick. This is 32 gigs, but you can use whatever you like. It is formatted in FAT32. You might want to do that as well. It is also possible to use NTSF. But one thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that when we're done flashing, that we put the file in this inside of here. But for now, hook it up to the computer, put it onto your USB file. I'm just gonna plug in my USB drive. I'm gonna open it up. Oh, here it is, the G drive. Here. And as you can see, as you guys can see, I've already got it here on the root of my SD card. So make sure you put it on the root for easier access. I said SD card, but make sure you put it on the root 
of your USB drive or SD card, whatever you may be using. Okay, and now we can proceed to connect the box. In order to connect the box to the computer, you need to have one of these cables, one of these male-to-male -male cables. And that male-to-male cable you hook obviously up on one side of the box. You make sure that you take the USB 2 and not the USB 3. And here on the side, you will find, here it is, you will find a uh, headphone jack. And that little headphone jack adapter, there you can find the reset button. And if you push, for example, a screwdriver in, I'm just using a simple screwdriver. You push it in, it should make a clicking sound. See if you can hear it. See if you can hear that. See that? Clicking sound, okay. Remember that, okay. So you take one end and you put it on your computer. So I'm gonna hook it up to my computer. And then you take the other end and in theory, you have to hook it up to the USB 2 port. That's the one closest to the power supply. But before you do that, you have to make sure that this is being held in. So you wanna click it in. And now that I'm clicking it in, I'm gonna plug this in and my computer should chime and make some kind of a sound. Telling me that it is all good. See, there you go. And if you look at the screen over here, guys, you will notice that it says connect successful. Now that you have successfully connected the device, all we have to do is just flash it and that is very easy. You wanna go down to file, you wanna go to import image, and you wanna select the image that we downloaded earlier, that is the KM9V0A28. That is the stock and this version is the Android TV version. You wanna double click that. Wait a minute. And as you can see, it's loading it up. And there you go, it has been loaded. And if you look down here, you can see that the image has been loaded up. And further, you don't have to change any of this stuff. Leave it just exactly the way it is. Normal erase, erase bootloader, don't change anything. And you wanna click on start. And as you can see, while this is happening, it's just gonna erase everything, download whatever it needs to download, and also set up whatever it needs to set up. This is gonna take a while, it takes like about three to almost four minutes. So I'm just gonna come back with you guys when this thing is done or when it's almost 100%. And yes, it's easy. All right guys, as you can see, this is finally done and it took longer than I thought, four minutes and 39. Uh, some of you guys might have better luck than I did. The first burn that I did took me only three and a half minutes. So and this can happen as you can see. So what is the next step? The next step is that you obviously wanna click on stop before anything goes wrong. Once you have done that, you can proceed to the box. Here is the box and you want to plug it out. There's no harm in that. Just plug it out and it'll be fine. And if you're curious how this looks now, now that it has been flashed, let's hook it up and see what's up. So this is how the box looks, guys. This is the typical Android TV setup, as you can see. So for guys that are fans of this, I am a fan of it. I am definitely going to be enjoying this and I hope you guys do. You're going to love it if you're a fan of it. If not, then you're probably going to hate it. But if you install this ROM, you probably knew that this is what you was going to install from the beginning anyways. Now guys, remember that USB drive from earlier where we put our Google apps? Yes, that's right. We still have to install that. And that is very easy. When you go inside of the app drawer, which is right here. You will be greeted to just a little bit of apps, not too much because this is bare bones for now, but you can customize however you like. What you want to do is you want to go to files. You want to take your USB stick and that USB stick, you're going to plug it to wherever. In this case, I have an extra port, so I'm just going to plug it in right there. And then as you can see here, the box has seen it. So what we want to do is we want to click on it. Here it is, the Vibraton. And here's a Google app. This is quite easy. What you want to do is you just want to drag it right here to downloads. And this will put it in the downloads folder of your box. You drag it and then you put it right here. And that's it. And once you go into downloads, it should be there. And wait a minute, why does it say zero kit? There you go, now it's done. So once that is done, what you want to do is, yeah, you want to go into the update menu. It's quite easy. You go into settings up here by the little cog. You wanna go all the way down or at least in the middle till you see about. Once you're in about, you should see something that says system update. Now we're gonna click on system update. 
and we want to take out the USB stick because it will no longer be needed. We have already copied over the file to the system or at least to the download folder. So what you want to do is you do not want to check here. You want to check here by select local update. You click on that and it should be able to see right away your Google Apps. There it is. It's under the local disk downloads. You want to double click that and you want to check to see if this is correct. Yes, this is the Google Apps that we downloaded, or at least that I downloaded. You could have a different version and you just want to click update. And once you click on update, it should tell you something like, hey, do not turn off your box or whatever. So you don't want to mess with this. You want to leave it as it is. You want to leave this thing update. It should turn itself off and then restart newly updated. And it'll be all good, guys. And then you'll have your Google Apps and then you can pretty much just enjoy your box right back as soon as it's done as you can see it's restarting it'll take you to the team win recovery project so once you're here guys all you want to do is you want to slide this to the right to swipe to allow modifications and that's it the rest is pretty much uh, a piece of cake you want to in click on install once you click on install you want to go to down to the download folder where we put the file earlier and there it is in the download folder you want to click that and once we know that we have the correct file, there it is. You want to slide this over swipe to confirm flash. There you go, guys. And then it's flashing. You just leave it uh, do its thing. It might look like it had an error, but no, it didn't have any error. It's just installing, doing its thing. And as you can see, guys, it is now done installing everything. And once it's done installing everything, you just want to reboot. And that's it. And we're back and now that we have installed Google Apps, everything should now be done and you are free to use this box. As you can see, we have more applications here to stand the Google applications. They have all been installed. So you guys can now use this box, do whatever you like, enjoy it. If this video has helped you out uh, just a little bit or you want to show some kind of appreciation, help your boy out by hitting a subscribe or a like. That would be massively appreciated as it does help the channel. Also, do not forget that there is currently sale on all these Miku boxes. I have included, again, some coupons for you guys to check out. So please enjoy that. And once again, thank you for showing your support and have a very nice day and see you on the next one. Peace.